So I have been on a health journey trying to recover from debilitating Crohn's disease for over 10 years. And I thought that I was healthy until I became unhealthy. In my early 20s, I partied so much and it wasn't until life started to catch up with me that I started to, to slowly develop health issues. And so for the better part of the last 10 years, I've been trying to heal myself naturally through food, through juicing, and through, um, through fasting. And so my journey has been such a difficult struggle. And so I just came off of my third long water fast. And so a lot of people might ask, why do you keep fasting, dude? You know, you are, when are you gonna be done? Do you have an eating disorder? Like maybe there's something mentally wrong with you. But people don't really get what it takes to actually heal the body, which can be a lot more work than just doing a, a month on juice or one water fast or eating raw for a couple years. To really heal degenerative health issues, chronic inflammation, chronic Lymphatic stagnation caused by a lifetime of eating crap and having a body in a, a genetic predisposition that does not allow my body to filter out the waste that I've been putting in. I have probably pretty bad genes. My health journey's taken quite a while and so I wanna show you guys a picture right now of my eyes. This right here is my current, about two weeks ago, my iris photo. And so if you're not familiar with iridology, this is the gateway to the body. So if you see in the middle of right around my pupil is this really kind of brown area. This is the bowels. And this is where most of my health issues stem from. The bowels become chronic once they go past about yellow and then they, just start, they start to degenerate. They start to accumulate a lot of waste. So if you see all this other stuff around there, this, this like white and yellowy part, this is just lymphatic stagnation and just, just crap that's still in my body and all the other tissues. And so, so if you look at this eye photo, you'll see that in the middle part right here, there's just so much waste and degeneration. And, and there's, to me, this is why I continue to fast. And so if you look at the portal of my body, you know, you get a pretty good idea of how much work I still have to do. And so this video is kind of going to be an update of what I'm up to now, how this past fast was, and, uh, and, and the next steps for me to really regain my health 100%. Because again, people might look at me and be like, dude, you look great. You're, you're healthy. You're, you're thriving. You're functional. But it's like, yeah, I'm, compared to like where I was, I'm like, great. But compared to where a healthy, super healthy, normal, 100% clean body with no chemicals, you know, it's going to take a lot more work to get there. And so the past 40 days, me and a group of my friends rented this sick villa in, in like the northern part of Bali. And I, I kind of hosted a group water fast together. I found six really amazing people that all are fruit-based eaters and, and raw, mostly raw vegan who have never done water fast before. And so, you know, I've studied fasting so much over the last five years. And before this fast, I had done two long ones, two 19 day fast. And so for one, I kind of wanted to test out the waters of what it would be like to like host and guide a fast. Even though I've done it online a handful of times, just wanted to see, get that more in-person connection. And so I had some friends that, that were willing to do it and wanted to, to kind of do this together. And so we all, we all teamed up and got a, got a sweet place. We rented a house for 40 days and was kind of the idea to just fast as long as you want, as long as you can, and then have the rest of the time to just recover, regain some really healthy habits and, and eat just a simple diet in nature where there's no noise, there's low pollution, if any, and just a, a great time to just reconnect with yourself, you know, your mind, and especially to get off the cell phones and, and to, to take a break from work and just the constant bombardment of, just boom, 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 going, going, going. So, so yeah, we fasted. I, I personally wanted to go for anywhere from 21 to 30 days on this fast. But unfortunately, that didn't happen. I ran into some, some issues and I only fasted for 14 days. Only, you know, I did fast for 14 days, which is, which is a lot of fasting. Compared to what most people do, it's 14 more days than pretty much everyone will do. And so... I didn't really accomplish what I wanted to. I saw a lot of healing. I gained a lot of benefits. My mental clarity and my energy levels are great. 
I didn't really get out the amount of waste in my body that I wanted to. And to be honest, the fast wasn't really that hard for me. You know, doing this is the third one. They do get easier in some ways. You, you know what to expect a little bit more and, and you just learn to accept the process of just, you know, like feeling like crap while you're laying there every day and just sipping on water, you know? Like, you know, I'm, I'm not even trying to like fast for a hundred days. I'm trying to get the crap out of my body. I'm very clear on that. And until I get this crap out, I'm gonna continue to fast. And until I cannot fast and feel great, I'm gonna keep fasting until I feel great and perfectly normal when I fast. And so I ended up having to break my fast around day 14. And kind of the reason, similar to what happened last time, I started getting razor blades in my throat and I stopped being able to drink water. I, I became severely dehydrated. I went about 36 hours without even being able to drink water. I started throwing up a bunch. Um, I started to get some other like mental issues. You know, my vital signs were okay, um, but I wasn't able to put water down. And for whatever reason, due to throwing up several times, not being able to drink water after that, I thought that it would eventually go away and disappear and I'd start to be drinking again. I'd start to be able to, to drink again, but it wasn't the case. So I broke my fast. That was probably 80% of the reason why I broke my fast. The other part was the people that I was with were, were kind of going through some things and I wasn't really able to be completely off of my phone just because I was kind of supervising this and we were having to take vital signs every day and there were some mornings that I needed to like have energy to talk to some people that were actually kind of struggling and so it wasn't really I guess for me the appropriate fast for me to go the distance that I want and while the main reason I broke my fast was because I stopped being able to drink water. I felt like it was actually a sign and a good thing because then I was able to, to have energy. You know, I, within two days of refeeding, I felt great again. You know, I was almost eating full meals on day two. Um, and, and I rebounded super quick, but the other people there kind of needed some help. And, and for, for one of the main things we were getting fruit deliveries when I broke my fast and the fruit quality was terrible. It was like really bad. So I broke my fast with coconut water for a full day. And then pretty much the next day was like dragon fruit because that's, I mean, that was the only high quality sweet fruit that I had. So, so I pretty much, you know, spent the next, like, I don't know, five or six days, like just going into town looking for fruit um, because it's very important to have super high quality, delicious tasting fruit if you're doing a long fast. And if, if especially this is like your first fast, I wanted it to just be so amazing for everybody to eat that first meal, you know, have the first meals of coconut water or, or uh, simple mono fruit, but I wanted it to be really good. And so I'm glad that I broke my fast because I was able to like go shopping and make sure everybody had good fruit when they, when they broke their fast. And so for, for that reason, I feel like everything happened exactly as it needed to. And I was able to spend like the next month just rebuilding, recovering, and then, and then taking a lot of time to just work on my mental stability and, and get into a really dialed routine. And so before the fast, I was, I was doing a bunch of calls and like consultations, health coaching at night, because at night here, it's like earlier in the morning there. Um, I'm about 12 hours ahead of New York City, and then I would I would stay up late, you know? And so for me, it was like, I was kind of getting into this bad routine of like not being able to go to sleep as early as I want to, so that makes me wake up later, then I feel a little groggy in the morning. And so now for literally the past month, I'm waking up at like four, in between four and 5 a.m. And it's just amazing. My routine is so dialed now, I have a lot of energy. And the fast, really, it just taught me that you can't put yourself into like a timeline. There's no perfect picture for my healing journey. And while I thought that I might be able to go 30 days and this would be the last long fast that I might need to do, it's not, it's not even close. You know, I don't think people really know how much work it takes if you have so much toxicity and accumulation of waste in your body and in your, in your cells and your pores and your glands and your tissues. And with that comes degeneration. And so, you know, the people that I fasted here during this fast, all but one had remarkable experiences. And there were several times when, when some of my friends wanted to break their fast. My, one of my friends on like day two, you know, 
like really wanted to break his fast. He was feeling terrible. He ended up throwing up. And I was like, dude, you know, you're totally fine. You know, just get through it. You'll be, you'll be fine. And then after a couple of days, he was back to, to feeling great. And he's been a fruit-based eater for two or three years now. And in, in most people's eyes, you'd be like, damn, that guy's really healthy. But he had, he had a couple of crises. And, and the rest of the time during the fast, he had a ton of energy most of the time, you know. And so each person in this fast with me had a different experience. And, and at the end of it, everybody pretty much feels amazing and remarkable and it was really cool experience to like watch people go through this and, and be with them every day to check in check your vital signs talk about what, what's going on what are these symptoms what do you need what do you not need um, and so I learned a lot you know as an educator on that end but but also just to experience it with them and on a personal level to, to go through some of these um, really emotional times with other people who are having life-changing experiences it's super cool you know like there are a lot of tears shared between between many of us and uh some of the connections that i, I gained from this fast were just they were like truly beautiful you know i made some best friends and and uh learned a lot about about this 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 i guess process of really elimination when when some people think that they're really healthy and then you do a fast you start rehydrating your body and then you realize oh man i i've got a lot of work to do you know so yeah so the fast was great one person this girl's she she made it to 21 days um but she was struggling after that after she started refeeding her digestion was just she was really struggling you know she had a lot of digestive pain and discomfort and you know, it's been, I think, almost three weeks since she broke her fast, and she's, she's doing okay. She's, she's not thriving, and so, you know, everyone else is just crushing it. Several people just be like, I've never had this much energy. I feel better than I've ever felt, and so it's just, I mean, it's such a unique thing that people just don't really, you know, there's so many people out there like, oh, go, go raw gourmet. It's all about balance. It's all about the balance. You can eat a well-rounded raw till four diet or you know you need to have fruit and juice and then a big big beautiful salad with like a cashew dressing and you're going to heal yourself no that might be totally true for a lot of people who aren't chronically sick but there's no reason to to like pace yourself juice cleanse for 90 to 120 days if you need to then rebuild spend six months on fruit eating eating fat and then do a water fast do a long water fast. Do, do two of them in one year. There's no reason to not fast. Fasting is the most natural process to allow the body to rest, repair, rehydrate, and eliminate waste. Most of the reason people have health issues, including myself, is because there is an insane amount of waste and toxicity built up in the body. And the body is so freaking smart. When you stop eating food, even fruit, when you stop juicing and you just rest and drink water, your body knows exactly what to do. It starts to break down tissue. It starts to utilize certain, certain parts of the body, eat them up, convert them into fuel, and eliminate the waste that has never had a chance to be eliminated because there's no reason for your body to eliminate it if you're eating every day. So when you fast, your body actually is forced to go and find fuel reserves in the fat, in the muscle, in the glands, in the cells, and it starts to eat up this waste and this tissue, and it starts to eliminate this stuff like you've never seen. And so fasting is definitely not for everyone if you're not in the right mental place. But for me, it's, I've been very clear about what I want, and, and my goal is pure and perfect health. And you know like there's no reason for me not to 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 practice this it's it's something that's been around pretty much forever and i'm i'm getting amazing results from it and each time i do a fast i get healthier and healthier and healthier and so you know one of the biggest struggles i've had is gaining weight and after my first long water fast it took me really like 6 months to gain a pound really 4 months but to really notice a, a like a significant weight gain it took almost half a year and then around six months, I was like 10 pounds up. I was like, okay, finally. And so I'm 6'2", and I weighed 112 pounds after I broke my first fast. I was super thin and skinny. 
And people were like, dude, you're, <laughs> people were like, dude, you look so thin, man. You just like, you've obviously got an eating disorder. It's like, dude, you have no freaking idea what I eat, my history, my digestion, the toxicity load that I have in my body or what I'm dealing with. Nor do you probably really understand what detoxification and regeneration actually means. Like, it's cool, a lot of people understand like, oh, I'm gonna do a cleanse, a juice cleanse. Dude, to really heal like the deepest rooted cancers and fibromyalgia and like crippling arthritis and severe, I'm talking severe digestive issues, my digestion was worse than anyone I've ever met and any of the clients that I've ever worked with. And I'm thriving now, but it's taken a lot of work. And so you gotta keep going through this process until it's done. It's not like, oh, you can do three fasts. Maybe I need six or seven fasts. That might scare a lot of people. Why are you doing this? Aren't you worried about like, you know, gaining muscle? Like, hell yeah, of course. I want to look great and I wanna have athleticism again. But the main goal that I have in my life for the next 10 to 15 years is to get the waste out of my body, get the chemicals out. Jabs, Haxine with the V, pharmaceutical drugs, antibiotics, tons of drugs, recreational drugs. And then on top of that, for literally breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and every snack since I was a little kid, I had soda and candy and fast food and processed food and Red Bull and just literally the worst of the worst diet. I never ate healthy until I was like, I don't know, 28 and I started like really trying to, to fix my health issues. And then I still wasn't eating like super healthy. I was still eating tons of animal products and deep fried this. And so to really get that stuff out of my body, my personal body, when my kidneys and my lymphatic sister my, my lymphatic system are so backed up and so clogged, even after six years of being raw, juicing and fasting so much, hundreds of days on juice, probably you know over 50 days, probably over 60 days fasting in total now. It's gonna take some time. And so for me, I'm patient, I understand this journey. And in between these fasts that I do, I am very clear that the goal is to gain my strength back, work out hard, build muscle, get my, my body working again, eat a bunch, and then gain some weight back until I get into a healthier state and be like, okay, now it's time to fast again and get the waste out. And so, I mean, th this might be so far past most people's comprehension of like, oh my God, you're, you're on this crazy journey. And you know, I, I thought that just going raw for like a couple years would heal. And it's like, well, yes, for you and you and you, but not you, you or you or me because everybody's body is completely different and their genetic weaknesses have a big role in how quickly your body is going to heal. My friend Aiden, which I'm gonna post an interview with him soon, he's in really good health. He fasted 22 days with us. And now, dude, you, the, the amount of toxicity that he doesn't have in his eyes now, you know, I'll show you a picture right here. So this is Aiden's eye. Look at how clear this thing is. It's blue, there's only a little bit of white. He obviously has some, some health issues and some things to work on, but there's so much clarity in his body. And so you can tell just by looking at this dude's eyeball that he's healthy and he had a really good fast. And now that after the fast is done, dude, he's just like so much energy. He's going bonkers. You know, just the, he's like, my digestion's never been better. It's flawless, perfect. Energy out the wazoo, his girlfriend is like annoyed. And so, each person's gonna have a different journey. A lot of people can detoxify their body super fast when they go raw or when they drink juice, but other people need a, a longer journey, you know? And so, so for me, yeah, it's just like fasting is just, it's so important for me. And once you get into that mental state and you accept it and you're willing to go through three, four weeks, five, six weeks of a very long and brutal process daily, there's no other option, you know? And so you just kind of get used to feeling like crap and you just take it one day at a time. It's, it's a very deep learning process of how to accept and be content and present with your body, even going through this pain. And so I've suffered thousands of days puking and feeling like my intestines were gonna explode before I went raw and even the, during the first year or two when I was having major bloating. And so I've had I mean, hundreds of the worst nights of my life. 
So, you know, a few weeks of fasting, it sucks sometimes really bad. Some days are okay, they're totally tolerable, and then you get into a bit of a healing crisis, and then those days really suck, and you just try to rest and lay in bed and not use up any energy and just sip water and just try to be present, you know? And so, yeah, so that, that's what's going on with me. The, for me, this fast was, for one, I did clear a lot of waste out of my body, mucus level, yellow stuff, before the fast, I was sneezing a lot. I had allergies. My eyes were like um, kind of itchy. Like once a week, I'd have like allergies and I'd have like 25 sneezing attacks. And when I'd wake up in the morning, my, you know, I could just tell my nose was starting to get like, you know, puffy. And, and so, you know, during now, like now after this fast, I don't have none of that. I wake up, feel perfect. I feel great. I wake right, dude. That's probably one of the biggest things that has helped me through this past fast is like my daily routine and when I wake up now, I'm like the alarm clock goes off by 5.30. If I wake up before that, in between 4 and 5.30, I just wake up naturally and I, I'm just like, I don't hit the snooze. I just poof, pop right up. I stretch out right here on my floor for about 10 to 20 minutes and then I go to the gym. I have a 24-hour gym right here and I go to the gym for like an hour. I come back clean up a little bit, maybe stretch again. And then the past week, I've finally gotten back into surfing. And so, you know, I'm at the gym before the sun even comes up. I'm usually out of there like 30 minutes after sunrise and then get out of my house, maybe go get some groceries or something, get some fruit for the day. And then I go surf for like two hours and I come back and I'm like, I've had almost a half a day by like 11. And so it's it's been really good for me in that sense. and and having the time to take off of my phone and social media and not feel the need to like really share anything and just be present over the past like 45-ish days, it's just been so remarkable. You know, even if you don't fast, I really recommend everyone taking just like a month off of their cell phones. You know, I've gotten on Instagram a handful of times for sure, but I don't use anything. I usually will get on there for like 20 minutes if I'm on there. And I'm not in, in the pattern of scrolling. I don't feel the need to listen to podcasts all the time. Like this, this last month has really just allowed me to be present and, and that's so crucial. Everybody's just so freaking distracted all the time, unable to really just be content with like the simplest little things. And so for me, that's what this, this fast really accomplished. I didn't heal as much as I would like to. My digestion's still not perfect. I've noticed that Four years ago, I couldn't really digest, you know, overt fats well at all. I would eat them because I, I wanted to eat them, you know, for, for my craving, I guess, levels. But I didn't really feel that good after them. And now I'm, I'm still noticing that my digestion, again, it's, it's not great. Um, if I eat just fruit, for instance, today, before I went surfing around 7.30, I had like three mangoes because I was out of coconut water. So I had three mangoes just to get a little glucose in there. Came back from surfing at 11. I had a, uh, a big plate of dragon fruit. Um, and then later today, I'll have a, you know, probably a big bowl of mangoes. And then for dinner, I might have a watermelon. And I'm going to try to do one day a week salad with avocado. And I've noticed that last week, my energy, if I had more than one avocado, it was just like I wouldn't wake up with much energy compared. And so I've been playing with that, testing it out. And now it's like, it's very clear that I need to stick with more simple fruit. I was doing, for me, complex salad, like lettuce, tomato, avocado, bell pepper, um, tree tomatoes, and then lime juice, maybe coconut meat, avocado, yeah. And, and I felt okay, but I feel way better if I don't have a complex salad like that, if I just have simple fruit with, with like salad or with soft lettuce, you know. So my goal for the next like two or three months is to just focus so hard on just the simplest fruit diet because the fruit here is really good. I don't need to eat salads. My cravings, I've really uh, been able to take a hold of them with the salad and the fat even more than before when most people would look at, at my page or like see what I eat daily and be like, dude, you're like already so strict and gnarly, but it's like, I'm still not in perfect health. I can't digest that, that big salad that I eat like perfectly. Like, yeah, it doesn't, most of the time that salad doesn't make me bloated, but if I have three salads complex every night with one avocado on each salad, my digestion slows majorly down and usually on the third day, I'll have to wait till way later in the day to eat because I still have fat in my bloodstream and it will cause me glucose spikes 
and also a little bit of fermentation. And so while some people might say that that's normal, I don't think that's normal at all. And so I'm, I'm just, I'm focused, you know? And so I just moved from the middle of Bali in um, this really spiritual town, kind of busy, but kind of, kind of like chill and quiet called Ubud. And now I've moved down to Uluwatu, which is on the Southern part of Bali. And so I'm nine minutes from the beach. The main reason I moved down here is really to just get back into surfing and be more active. So I got, you know, five surf spots over there. That's like 20 minutes away. And then I got three surf spots South. It's nine minutes. My gym is three minutes away. It's 24 hours a day. It's air conditioned. It's amazing. It's got a dope place to like to work out and do um, calisthenics. And then I've got on that side is just like in about a month, the waves will be super good over there. And that's about a 20 to 30 minute drive. And so I'm just like, oh, I'm just so stoked to get, to get back into the daily routine of being active again. You know, I've just been, I've been in Bali for six months now and I've just been um, just like craving consistent activity. I get bored, you know, I grew up surfing, snowboarding, riding BMX bikes, hiking, snowmobiles. Every day was like an eight hour mission of doing something active. And so living up in Ubud, I'd go to the gym every day, sometimes twice a day, but that's about it. I'd go for, you know, 20, 30 minute walk around my neighborhood. And to me, it's just, that was way too boring. I liked living there. I liked the amount of food and fruit and it's super good. There's so much fresh fruit up there, but sorry, just checking to see if this thing's still rolling. But yeah, down here, the fruit is imported from a couple hours away. Nothing really grows down here. So the fruit quality down here in the South part of Bali where it's like world-class surfing down here. Um, the fruit quality is not as good, but up until like two days ago, I was scoring. There was, everything was epic, like nine out of 10 watermelon. The dragon fruits were amazing. Um, papayas, I haven't found any good really papayas down here, but avocados have been great. Lettuce has been, been super good. Uh, mango steens and rambutans have been good and, and the mangoes have been good, but up until yesterday was good now i'm like ah I'm, it's kind of like a lull for two days so anyway that that's kind of what's going on um i'm really focused on the next like four to six months to to rebuild myself be as active as possible i'll probably go to the gym again tonight even though i've been there once and surfed and now i'm going to work for the next like six hours and just i'm not going to try to burn myself out doing that i'm still going to try to take the weekends off to like just put my phone down get away relax and then work hard on myself rebuilding recovering and then probably do another fast again whenever my body's ready you know for those of you following my journey and have followed it closely you know my mom also fasted and, and my mom is thriving now she's been raw vegan for over a year now after her fast and so she's thinking about doing another fast here in the next month. So I'll, I'll probably do that over the phone with her while she's, she's back in the U S and Arkansas. Um, so, I mean, that's, that's kind of it y'all like beautiful, amazing process to like watch everybody healing and see people's journey. It's just so cool that people like get into raw food and they start to learn about detoxification and they start to see people getting results, acne, you know, brain fog, energy levels, inflammation, all of these things are, are healable in most cases. And it's due to, you know, getting rid of the toxicity and with that comes deficiency. So if you're eating a clean, balanced diet, you're not gonna be deficient. And if you get the waste out, you're not gonna have toxicity or deficiencies. And so when you do that, your, your, your body starts to really resolve its health issues. And so, yeah, man, I just, I love raw food. I love teaching it. I love doing it. I'm not trying to be like a guru or some dude who's just, you know, fasted a billion times, but, but it's very obvious. I, I want to experience what some of these like higher level individuals have experienced after fasting and going through just long periods of internal regeneration. And so, yeah, guys, for me, I, I'm, uh, I'll be back on here. I'm gonna drop some interviews and some new vids coming up soon and I'll be back on the Instagram for daily updates. I'll probably do a Q&A here in a few days on Instagram. So if you're not following me there, you can check it out. So anyway, I'm, I'm interested to hear your comments. If you guys have done water fasting or if you have any questions about my current situation or any questions at all, you feel free to ask, leave it in the comment section. If you appreciate this content, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and uh, 
you know, that's pretty much it. So I'll check in with you guys soon. Thank you for watching. Peace out.